Good morning and everybody and welcome again once again to my humble abode. Today we'd like to go and do a few little things that I've sorted out and also to show you some of the things you can do with UU Matter. So without further ado let's go off to the farm because I want to go to the farm not because I need to go to the farm particularly but let's get rid of these. Right. The underlilies don't I think the underlilies are not going back in because this space here is full. So there's no more room for underlilies. Anyway, down here, if you remember correctly, I have a UU matter machine. A matter fabricator here. And what I've got here is some scrap boxes. But I've also got this redstone inverter signal and a fluid injector upgrade, which are both put of those in. So fluid ejector basically ejects the UU matter directly out of here into a tank behind it. And this, the inverter signal lets this be high, which basically then turns it on. Here I've got a cyclic assembler. And what the cyclic assembler is doing is taking scrap and then converting that scrap to scrap boxes because they're more efficient at producing um, UU matter. And here of course I've got the recycler which is producing scrap all the time. And here we've got the ignisius ignis, ignis, ignis extractor, I can't say it today, which is producing lots of cobblestone which is going down through this process here. Obviously I don't really have enough power but here we do see UU matter, and now I've got 169 UU matter, which is actually sufficient for what I want to demonstrate. Let's take that. I've been killing a few mods, so let's just go outside. And I was also exploring a little bit in here to see what was going on. There was quite, there's quite a lot of lava pools here and it's just below the um, the water wheel here so I haven't done anything with it. And here I have a switch to some um, let's have a look, some peat fired engines and the peat fired engines are put peat in from the peat from the farm and around those at the moment it's turned on and turned them off and it's, it's basically it's creating ash and it helped a little bit with the power here. And I've got, a red, I've got a, I don't need this anymore actually, let's get rid of this. The landmark I don't really need, it was just to show me where it was coming up in the water. Down the passageway. Quick look at the, uh, yes that's working nicely. As you can see quite a lot of stuff is coming in from the quarry and the farm. And here, what I've done is I've built some more machines. I've moved the molecular transformer and I built a replicator, a pattern storage and a scanner. What this does is you can scan something or other, it doesn't really matter, but we'll find something to scan. And then you can store this. And what I did is I found some iridium ore in a chest and I've scanned that and the idea is I would like to make from that some more iridium ore because it's the only way you can get it and here's the replicator so what I can now do is put this portable tank into here I think that's produced yes it's got some EU matter in there and that's now empty and now it's waiting so I do I think I click single run here and it will now produce some EU matter well, we've got no EU. This EU matter is 16% and it should produce one iridium ore. And you can do that for everything. What I would actually, what I might do today, and if you're also interested, I can always do a walkthrough when I go and do things like uh, explore. I explored the um, end portal. In fact, we should just let's just wait because that was moving reasonably fast. Here, yeah. sixty-four percent, and I need to go and put this tank back. Let's go and put the tank back while that's processing and see what happens. Doesn't take very long. And the brownstone makes you go fast. Right, this is where the 
tanks you can. Let's put this should be fine, yes. So any EU matter that was produced will go into the tank, nothing yet, so it takes quite a long time and a lot of energy. In fact, what I don't do is I don't build machines on in the process here, but it might be interesting. So now I have one iridium ore, which I can then use to produce some of the advanced machinery. So if we look at the usage for that, you can produce iridium reinforced plates, iridium ingots, which we won't do because with iridium ingots, we can make those easier from nether ore. And I think there was more. Maybe it was, this one is the one that's really difficult. This reinforced plate is the one that's required for um, advanced um, armor and quantum armor. So let's look for advanced. So here we've got some advanced solar helmet, for example, and that requires. Oh, there's no problem. Now, so tell me, that's an advanced solar panel. Yeah, that's no problem. We can make all of those without using the ore. Who was it? It might have been the hybrid, which requires this, ah uh, yes, these iridium reinforced plates. And the only way you can get those, the recipe for that, is to use iridium ores. So we need to produce lots of iridium ores to get, and in fact you need to produce eight. So there's a lot of UU matter to produce for that, which requires quite a lot of energy. And you get all sorts of these solar helmets here. Let's get back to what it was. This was the quantum suit armor. So quantum suits re do require, if you want any of those, uh, a lot of energy. So here we've got the helmets, the, the body armor. And when you do this, you get 10 hearts of, uh, or 10, 10 armor marks. And again, you need a lot of iridium plates for that as well. The rest of it's really straightforward. We've already got the nano suit and advanced alloys, no problem. Electric jetpack, no problem. Leggings, the same thing. And of course, boots will be the same again. And this particularly got rubber boots, so you can do things like walk on water and things with this one. And I think it's also protection against uh, uranium poisoning and stuff like that but I'm not sure. The rest of it's relatively straightforward. Electronic crystals, it's just a simple an energy crystal with lots of these advanced circuits. What I can do with that is I have done a bit of automation on this before. I don't know whether I showed you this before, but I certainly haven't showed you this. And I've extended now the, the deep storage units and I've brought a little bit sort of did another cutout here and I extended the deep storage units to include soil, the gravel we've got, the, the other four we had I think, and maybe the um, the, the hemp fibres, the industrial hemp fibres. Oh, only got 64 now, but that will no doubt will fill up. Here I've got 1461, which isn't very much either. Here we've got another one, I've created this one now, we've got 25,000 concentrated essence berries coming from the uh, the two farms, which I haven't shown you that as well. I built a new um, Aubrey farm for the excess Aubreys. And what I'm doing at the moment is to test out uh, how far they can reach. I've got in here, I've got a an upgrade quartz, which increases the rate by, by one more. If I press F7, we shall see the red line. So everything here is red, but it seems to be harvesting everything except for this block here, which is to be expected. It seems to be harvesting all of these. And I was surprised because I think I'm further away than eight. Let's have a look. Let's get my tape measure out. Click it down here, and then just go down and see. So we should expect to see 11 which is probably, but that says 16 meters. And when I right click that, it should say at the bottom left hand side of the screen, 
how far we've got. So that's a 16 north to south, which is more than I would expect this thing to be able to work. But maybe it's because that the radius is the radius from the um, from a planter. So in that case, it might represent twice times eight, which is 16 plus the three, or maybe you'll plus twice times three, you'll be six. So it may well represent a good 22 blocks, which is, well, yeah, would make a very big farm and I could extend the one upstairs. And what happens here sometimes, well, there aren't that many essence berries or berries at the moment. It will, what happens is that sort of mobs do spawn, so I just have to come clean up after them. Maybe I should put up a mob grinder in here as well, but you can't extend that range. Right, now what was I going to go and do? I was just going to show you the, uh, the portal. Not the portal. The, um, the end, the end portal wasn't I? So let's go and have a quick look for that one. Should be around here somewhere. Spawners. Mine bottom. Another portal. It's below. Where is it now? Maybe it's too far away. I think I can only find that from the farm. Let's go to the farm. And then we should be able to see. Oh, here's the end portal. So as you can see, if I press F and we can fly up here, you can see this is the actual end portal. I've not been in there yet. But I have explored around here. Let's turn that off again. So as you can see, I've, I've put switches on some of these doors. And I'm going to have a little silver fish in a minute. That was a silver fish noise. And I put uh, a switch, on, a lever on these doors and it holds them open. So I don't have to f go and fight around so much before I do that. Let me get the, the crossbow out. You never know. What I've been doing here is I've been going around looking for any chests. And this is where I found the um, the iridium ore in one of these chests in here. And as you can see, I've cleaned out all the spiders, cobwebs and put down torches everywhere. So it's reasonably safe now. down here then you can some stairs Oops. more doors more rooms but if, you, if anybody's ever, actually ever interested I will quite happily go around and record this type of um, well actually there's a, there's a spawner position over here let's just, let's just hide that one get that one out of the way I need some torches, which probably I've got in my knapsack I have. Let's put some torches down here. There we go. And there is lava down here. And here they had some water. Another dump spot. And here was some more water. I was wondering if there was anything underneath the water. And there's some. So haven't I been down here? There's not going to be down here, so that's good. Let's go and have a quick explore down here. Quick look around, make sure there's nothing immediately in there. It doesn't look like I've been down here very much. Oh, good. So let's go down here and see what we can find. I've been down here obviously. Plenty of doorways. Bats and lots of corridors. But what happens is it actually then starts to go out. Nothing exciting in there. We actually leave the stronghold. Could go up again, see what's going on upstairs. 
Well, let's go down here first of all. I haven't done this. This should be a mob somewhere about here. Yeah. Oh, it's quite easy to farm. I think for torches. Another th quite a few. Avoid the lava. Plenty of yellow, yellow, yellow right about here as well. So. It's one of the reasons for quarrying locally, nothing down there. Must be glamour pool. And it goes on forever, doesn't it? I'll bother going down there, see what I could do. Just get rid of the water here. Have I got a bucket handy? I'll just put in some stone here then. Oh, nothing exciting down here either. Just a few metals and strange plants. Some order infused stone. isn't it? Oh, some dense iron ore. Oh, we seem to be back towards some of the... Uh... Oh yes, these are the these are the interesting rooms and you find these. You see this is the water that was there before. I was wondering if the water was hiding anything. No, these are quite awkward to get through. I always find these quite awkward to get through. I didn't that time, but never mind. And it just goes around at the corner. There seem to be some some zombies and creepers around here, but I haven't found them yet. I can hear a creep I can hear a skeleton running around. Let's have a look. So there's Aubrey here. Essence berry that one is. Right, I've run out of torches. Do I have any more coal? No, I'll just have to take these from here then. But what I could do Oops, creeper one, let's get rid of him. Oops, it was too quick. Oops. Now you see I've got this block floating around here. Right, what I have to do now is to move the stuff out of my let's get rid of this, that's my inventory. Don't need all of this stuff. Buttons. Creeper heart, huh? Ah. Another one of those for a while. Aluminium or bris ironing, so don't need that. I'll get rid of that one as well. Uh, what else have we got in here? Mossy stone, I don't need crack stone. Skeleton head, zombie head. Plenty of mushrooms. Do more mushrooms. Okay, let's do this. Um, just press R, sort the things out. And open up the next second, and I can get rid of the landmark and. Redstone torch. In fact, I can also get rid of the, the tape measure. I don't need that. Okay. Nothing down there. What did I come in that way? Oh, yes. Uh, 
Excuse-moi. here is put a lever on the door so let's just get some levers out of here uh, it's easiest just to put levers on the doors because they don't, then they latch open so we don't have to worry about don't need the bed certainly not let's put number oh, it was open anyway see bats flying around so we can spend a lot of time exploring in these um, dungeons haven't found anything exciting yet Back to torches because this has obviously not been explored. Nothing to explore by the looks of it. What you can also do, of course, is to have a look down below, see if there's anything interesting on below the surface. Let's get rid of him. And in this case, maybe there's a little, a little space down here, but. Oh, that looks like a skeleton. So let's just uh, sort him out. Oh, where was he then? So he must have been hiding somewhere below here. So let's take the pickaxe and have another dig around. down here wasn't he? Interesting. Right, so as you can see the stronghold is full of lots of rooms which is easy to get lost in. Because I've been here obviously. Little bats. Well, you can actually sort of do things like dig your way out of it. Let's go. Let's try the magic hammer again. Nothing exciting there. That. Right. Okay. So let's see if we can find our way out again. End portals over here, and the stronghold is out the top there. So we can go back to the end portal. can go up. You can also do, you could use uh, other types of levers as well, you see. Here I did a critter, a Natura lever, it's netherrack and stick and stones. But there was nothing down here either, just some more rooms. Now here there was actually an interesting chest. Some yellow right. Let's just, let's just mine that for a bit, shall we? In fact, I should be sensible to put his torches beside the hammer. You do know that if you put the torches beside the hammer, try it like this. Um, let's put that one. Then when you right-click the, the hammer, it will actually put down the thing on the right of it. So, for example, let's so uh, do a quarry here. Ah, gravel, not very good. So right-click, and then it just puts the torch down. Okay, let's go back upstairs. We should see our farmyard and portal farm stronghold. The creatures beside the stronghold I put a travel anchor. And this was the uh, how I found the stronghold. I just dug down and found it. So we're actually not too far away from home. As you see the moment I've run out of bogger, so that the peat farm's not doing anymore. But I'm planning to redo the f this uh, farm anyway. We've got a good orchard, and we have some plenty of crops. They basically produce the biofuel. What I'd like to do is to create some reeds and some rubber. So I'll probably replace this with weeds. In the 
need to let's go to the workshop as you see the quarry is working very nicely what other problem did I have ah oh, yes it was the, I know what it was let's go upstairs to the front door it was the farm wasn't it And that, what I did before is I now created another chest. I put this well, created, put a chest in here. And out of the chest here, I put in the uh, the servo. And the servo is basically sending seeds, cotton seeds, and industrial fertilizer. And the industrial fertilizer, I don't know what I showed you, will just pipe all the way through down here into this uh, fertilizer unit. I haven't got any at the And as you can see, this is also the same as the um, as the as the Aubrey farm. This is a a harvester with an upgrade. So the upgrade is going as far as that harvester to there. So let's just see if we can measure that. Got to put the take measure back, didn't I? I'm not sure this will work or not. We'll see. Sure. Maybe have to do shift click. Yes. So if I'm standing on that. Oops, try shift clicking again. 21. So it will do a range of, as I, oh, that's right, yes. 3 plus the uh, the middle one plus the 2, 8. So that is 20. That's 22 actually, isn't it? So it's, maybe it could even do further than this. I don't think it does, otherwise the crops would be planted here. So it looks like it's a good 20. So I can make the Aubrey farm 20 blocks wide. There's a rectangle and a few blocks for the for the machinery at one end. That's good to know. Okay, I don't think there was anything else that was outstanding. But if there's anything that you would like to see, just leave a note in the comment section and I'll do my best to endeavour what you can see. Actually there was one more thing. I was saying I didn't know what to do with those dusts. The, these low potions here. Some of them I don't know. But this one's quite cryothium dust is quite useful. If you hold on to it and press U. This is one that you can use to make augmented tools so you can augment the thermal expansion machines. So that one increases the production. This one does as well. So, but it is also that's level three. That's level three dynamo output power. Requires. So obviously that needs the previous level. And you can another one here's the, the gyro server feedback. Eighty-one percent secondary chance. So that increases the out the secondary chances of machines. So, for example, if we were doing the um, the redstone in the redstone ore in the pulverizer, you'd be likely to get more cinnabar as an output, and that's obviously fairly straightforward to make. But of course, if you're going to do that, then you'd have to upgrade. Um, yeah, what's the, this is the induction smelter, isn't it? You'd have to upgrade this machine, um, so you get another another tab down here, augmentation. So if we incre if we're only at level one at the moment, we have to increase these outputs. So we'd have to make it from a resonant or a higher machine, but machine frame. So look, for example, well, that one was the induction smelter. Yes, induction smelter here. So you can use a different types: reinforced, resonant, basic. So from the basic here. Can do you can see what you can use that for so you can simply increase these in this case we can use a signum gear or an electron gear and then that increases it from uh, uh, with some invite ingots around to a hardened one and this one actually yes that's two inputs but it increases the number of aug augmentation slots and so does this one it actually increases it to three 
And the next one along will be increased is the Enderim gear. Induction smelter will increase it to four augmentation slots. I will do that sometime if you're in anybody's interested. Uh, this is fairly silver ingots and one enderum gear. That's really quite simple to make. All we need to do is to an enderum gear is to take four enderum ingots. I'm not sure if I've shown any of this before. Well, I have. Just come, al come along to here. Make sure that we take the gear more gear cast out of here. Put the enderum ingots into the hopper. I put them to the hopper. And put the, and put the gear here. So let's put this back now. Actually, I want that in that slot there. Try again. And then when and while, while that's cooking a little bit, let's just get rid of some of these things. Um, let's put this, the levers back in here. Let's also put into the um, into the ender pouch the stuff that we've got lots of already. I don't really want those metal stone buttons. We don't want the arrows. I think that's all. How far is it doing? Well, it's going to take quite a while to to smelt the end run. In fact, you can smell almost anything in, in in here and make gears. So what was the other thing it wanted? Signum. Let's go and have a look while it's smelting. Go on to the workshop. Signum wasn't it, so or signal one one. one. Aluminium, brass, ardite, energetic alloys, copper ingots, different bronze ingots, different types of bronze ingots, actually that's Tinker's Construct and that's thermal expansion. Sigma I mean I've only got three. You need four for a gear. So what's the recipe for that? It's just signal and blend, which is destabilized bucket of destabilized redstone, three copper powders and one silver powder. Okay. So that's very straightforward. All we need to do is get a bucket, which I haven't got with me, so let's just make a quick bucket. And we wanted three, one silver, and three copper. And if I'm not mistaken, with these, with these portable tanks, I just right click the bucket against it, and yes, sure enough, it works. I think this works with almost everything at the moment I found except for blood. Blood was the one thing I couldn't get to work. But maybe that's also fixed in this current release. So we have four signal blends, which we then simply we can use that directly in the in the smelter of course. Alright, so now we've got the let's put those in here. And then we simply just click. Yeah, we should have. That's to. It'll disappear down in the. Yes, it's disappeared down through here into the downstairs. So quickly go downstairs. And we should see it coming out. Might have already come out, huh? I oh, know it takes a bit of time, doesn't it? It's got the slow item ducks to start with. Plenty of cobblestone coming down. Yeah, I wonder where it's gone to. Should it come out by now? One of the last little challenges. It's possible it's Tinker's Construct or. If it's Tinker's Construct, it could well come into one of these chests. Let's just. I've forgotten where it is actually. Let's What have we got in here now? Yes, some smelted signal. Right click this again. We'll just go downstairs one floor. Because that should come through here. Drop down through here, so it will. And we want to know whether this is going downstairs or upstairs. 
downstairs. And it dropped into this chest too. I thought it gold gears. Press gears. Where did that drop into? Ah, there's the signal gear. And here's the end room gear. So that's how. I'm not quite sure why that. It must be one of the rules in here. Let's have a look. Oh, end room ingots and end room gears. Four six thirty eight. Four six thirty eight seventy six. Ignoring metadata. I think it's the reason because it ignores the metadata. So it's the four six thirty eight seventy six. We'll go into here. That's just what we wanted. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Until next time. Bye for now.